We're talking today with Helen Powers of the uh, class of 1929. And tell me, Helen, uh, what was college like in your day when you were a student? It was a delight and a privilege to be there. And I met so many people of my own age, and we, we stayed friendly for a good many years. Uh -huh. Who were your favorite teachers? Oh, I don't know as I had any. I, I really liked them all. Uh -huh. I enjoyed them for what they could give us. So they were very generous. Who were some of those teachers? Well, we had Mr. Jackson was one of our first teachers. We enjoyed him. And then, of course, we always had uh, the special teachers in R. I enjoyed the art teacher. And then we had a special one in the English. So I... We were, our class started the very first campus comment, and I was in another friend, we were in charge of the ads, so we would go out, and it took us quite a while at noon, you know, to go out and get the ads from the different merchants in town to help the newspaper. Aha, uh -huh. so you remember the campus comment staff? Yes, we started it. That's right, 1927 Miss Pope's That's class, right. wasn't it? Yeah, you knew Miss Pope well, what was she like? She was a beautiful woman, very dedicated. And you had, did you join any other clubs or organizations while you were a student? The Garden Club. The Garden Club. Mr. Stearns. Tell, yes, certainly. Tell me about Mr. Stearns. We knew all about the Con Ballroom. Really? He was a, he, I think at one time he wanted to be an engineer. And every time, the class was in the garden, the little shed is where we had the class. And every time a train would go by, he'd have to leave the class to go out and count the cars on the trains. That was his hobby. I see. He was a wonderful person. What did Bridgewater cost you as a student to attend? Huh. A dime a dozen. I don't, I don't know. We, we never knew much about money in those days. It was never discussed. Uh -huh. But I don't think we paid anything. I, uh, that just isn't. So zero, no, no money for tuition? Well, I didn't pay anything. If any, somebody might have paid it, I don't think we had, I don't think it cost us anything. I never heard about it. Aha. Uh -huh. You were there just after the fire had happened. Where were your classes in those days? In the, we, you mean, in the basement of Wooden, and in the gym, and in the Baptist Church. I see. That's where you went to class. You were there while Boyden Hall was being built then. Oh, yes. Do you remember them, seeing them build a build building? Certainly, yeah. And that was now, uh, you were in your sophomore year then. I wouldn't remember what year it was, but I know they were building it, yeah. When you graduated from Bridgewater in 1929, what did you do? I taught school. Uh, for how long? 41 years. 41 years in the town of Bridgewater. Exactly. Wow. And uh, now you were a commuter. How did you get to college? On my feet. <laughs> you walked... That's right. And it's got to be at least... A couple times a day. Wow. And how far is that? It's got to be at least... A little a... over a mile. Just about a mile. Yeah. Just a short walk. Just a short walk. Good for you. Uh, and you uh, have... Uh, you, you've stayed in contact with the college over the years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What I do you think of the growth... I representative for years. Uh -huh. When you see the college today, and it's so much larger, uh, does it bring back memories of when the college was so much smaller? Well, I still remember my friends. I have a couple that are not friends. They have passed this world, but their children and their grandchildren still keep in touch with me. And some of them, I have a little girl who's brought up next door, and she's entering the college. Oh, and my goodness. And I'm delighted to have her go. Wow. Uh, you have lived in this house since almost since you were born. That is right. And you've never lived anyplace else. Not that I know of. <laughs> okay. All right. And you had classes, as you said before, in the basement of Woodward Hall. Right. While Boyden Hall was being built. Yes. Hmm. And uh, who was your best friend in college? Oh, we had too many. I couldn't say. We had so many. <laughs> I, I, we, we all got along fine. One girl would have a brother's car, and we'd ride up to Brockton together, as if we couldn't get a frack at Casey's just to get out. And we'd, we'd all give her dime, because yeah, she just, she, you know, she had to have something for the gas. Uh -huh. Not many people had cars. Uh, that's right, that's uh, right. You mentioned Casey's. What was Casey's? Casey's was a, was a paper store. They had made, made their own chocolates 
and their own ice cream. It was, and they had a, a, a curtain be, made of all beads. The whole curtain was these beads hanging down to go into where the ice cream. And you'd get a, a, a coffee ice cream with ice cream, and that's, I think, maybe 15 or 20 cents, you know. When you were a student at Bridgewater, you could go to the movie theater in town. Oh, certainly. We, we'd go 10 cents. 10 cents to go to the movie No, movies. I think when I went to Bridgewater, it went up to a quarter. It was 10 cents until I got to Bridgewater High School. And these were talkies? Oh, yes. Talking movies. They were not silent. Well, some of them were silent, but when I would first go, I can't remember when, when they stopped being silent. <laughs> Good. And so you enjoyed your years at Bridgewater? Oh, yes. Yes. We enjoyed every day. 